Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Steve Saviak from Vallejo Pharma. How are you today? Very good, Tracy. Nice to be back on your show. I got to tell you, I don't know where to begin with your second quarter results and highlights, but how about we start with the fact that your revenues are up 80%. I, I, you know, I, what more does the investment audience, what more do they need after that? Let's start there. Revenue growth is, uh, has been, is key. It's, it's been expected. Uh, it's driven by in, in large part, almost exclusively by the addition of our three new products that we launched last year around this time. Uh, Radesca, our blood thinner, and two asthma therapies, Enerzer and Atectura. And they're starting to show that growth, and they're obviously driving the sales up 80% over uh, last year, 14% over the last quarter. So uh, very positive. I think the last time we spoke, we mentioned your growth of your team and how that was increasing your expenses, but undoubtedly that would pay off. Would you say you've been successful with that? We, uh, we've grown dramatically uh, in the last year in terms of people. And, and I think you need to have commercial teams out there to, to, in, their, in order to market products. So we've grown to over 100 people from about 25, 30 people uh, in May, June of last year. So that's considerable growth. Naturally, that inflected into our operating expense and created larger losses in the quarters that follow. But what we're seeing is that those expenses now are, are flat to tapering off. So they're actually, we're controlling them uh, as sales grow. So you're seeing that loss diminish. And we think that sometime later this year, we should be able to break that into a break-even uh, point. Now, I appreciate, Steve, that you're a purist. You've been in this industry a long time. So you want to talk about your products. Where do we start? Well, our biggest selling product uh, right now is Redesca, as we expected it to be. So Redesca has that short-term revenue and earnings lift for us. It's a uh, blood thinner used across Canada in hospitals primarily. It's the number one seller in its category. We have 54% of what's known as the biosimilar market. We won't get into too much details about biologics and biosimilars, but safe to say that in, in BC, uh, biosimilars have taken over 80% of the market in Quebec, they've taken over 70% of the market, and we expect that to follow through in Ontario shortly, Maritimes and out west. So uh, a product that uh, is uh, going to be the driver of our uh, sales growth for the next 12 months or so, after which you'll start to see our two asthma therapies take over more of the, the sales growth. And what I like about these therapies, we announced them uh, prior on your show. Uh, we've got, uh, they, they deal to, with moderate to severe asthmatics. As we know, there's a lot of asthma sufferers in Canada, a lot of them that are not being uh, adequately treated. Uh, and what we're seeing with these uh, two drugs is that in terms of new prescriptions being given to patients, that we are now number two behind Symbicort, which now, what, just to put scale on this, Symbicort is an over $200 million drug. But right now we are actually gaining more prescriptions, new prescriptions than products like Brio, which is over a hundred million dollar drug, Zenhale over sixty million dollar drug. So we're actually beating these, or or further ahead of the than these drugs are. So what that leads me to suspect is our two asthma therapies are going to become mainstays in asthma therapy in Canada, and and that means significant revenues. We're projecting over a hundred million, and uh, it's one thing to project. The other side of it is actually show. So sales are growing, but sales come from prescriptions and prescriptions are as i say number two to simbacort only in terms of new to brand prescriptions that's a real uh, important metric for us and uh, i think for your viewers also people are taking these products and feeling better with them so in addition to that i see you've had a tsx listing of common shares and warrants can you provide an update on that the TSX, I think everyone aspires to list on the TSX. It's the most senior exchange in Canada. It gives you visibility not only within Canada, but throughout North America and into Europe. So being accepted to the TSX big board club, if you will, is a true milestone for us and, and is a testament to how people feel about our future. Not only are our shares listed, but we have a, a series of debentures listed on the TSX, as well as a couple of uh, series of warrants. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very good visibility factor for us. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's, again, it shows the, the maturity of our company as we're able to, uh, to meet the TSX listing requirements. And of course, you've been so incredibly busy. I barely know how to ask you this, but what should we expect next quarter, Steve? Well, I think you're going to see the continued sales growth. 
it's you know it is going to be choppy because of the uh, the uh, advancement of certain provinces and the, or the delay thereof, and specifically Ontario. When will they adopt a more uh, active biosimilar policy? As I mentioned, other provinces have. I expect Ontario will in the coming months. But whether it'll be in July or whether it'll be in uh, October is hard to say right now. So that will lead to some choppiness. But consider quarter over quarter growth reduction, quarter over quarter margin expansion, uh, loss reduction, um, and some potential news on business development activities. Always hard to talk about these because you know they may or may not happen. But we're quite advanced in trying to add products that will leverage our sales force, leverage our commercial team. Uh, and we expect uh, to have something, uh, you know, we expect without guaranteeing, but certainly have strong feelings that we're going to advance in those areas in the coming months. Well, as usual, Steve, thank you so much for an update on Vallejo Pharma. And for more information, please go to this website. Thank you, Steve. Thanks a lot, Tracy.